All right, I am going to go through and unbox and unpack almost 30 items that I ordered from Amazon last week before I arrived at my sister's house and they've been arriving over the last several days and piling up in her garage. First item, pretty cool, is a cigarette lighter power splitter. Gives me one, two, three extra slots and uh, four USBs. Some of these are one amp, some are two amp. And I'm going to be using this for the next item that I'm going to tell you about, which is a Dometic 12 volt fridge. So I need to just be able to split this. This also has a built-in voltage monitor so I can watch my voltage that's coming off of my battery to see what that's at because I don't yet have my solar power or controllers or anything else set up. Anyway, so next item I have is Dometic 95 liter fridge. That thing is huge and I'm sitting on it. I'm not going to take it out of the box right now. It's just too big, uh, too large. I have a whole bunch of items up here and most of these are going to be for the electric system in the step van. I started watching a YouTube channel which I will recommend, Adventures in a Backpack. And this is a Sprinter van couple and I'll do a link down below. They put together a really amazing solar setup and electric wiring and their video is probably like 25-30 minutes long, very detailed on how they set up their solar system and so basically they created a list a very extensive list of items and most of the core components on their list were items that had been recommended by you the subscribers earlier so I really like this list and so this is an expansion on that and I've been working with a guy named Scott down in San Diego I'm headed that way I'll be there in December working with him to do the install all right, looks like I have some 500 amp fuses. I've got one, two, three, four in this thing here. That's the first package. So I'm sure a lot of these are going to be very similar to that. My unboxing is not nearly as interesting as uh, Casey Neistat, who is, of course, super famous for his unboxing. These are all sorts of uh, ends for cables, all sorts of eye hooks. So all of these came off of the Adventure in a Backpack uh, list for their build and uh, they've got that listed. I um, gave them full credit on their Amazon list so they're I guess an affiliate so they get a little bit of bonus money from that and that's why I'm going to link directly to their video and directly to their list for you if you want to get these items because they're the ones that assembled it and put it together and so I think it's just fair for them to get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon for that. In the center, what is it? What is it? I have no idea. I remember the ordering this. I think it's a, a shunt or something like that. Anyway, it's one of the connection points for stuff to make sure you don't blow apart your electric system. More connectors. More connectors. And I think this has got to be another connector. This is a 12 volt fuse holder in line. Uh, check that out. And I have about a hundred of these zip, uh, zip tie connectors. They're very interesting squares. They have adhesive on the back side. So you just peel off this back side. You can stick it to a surface and then it gives you a four point connector for you to put your zip ties to. It makes it very easy for running cables along your side. So there is about a hundred of these inside of here. Looks like one little box for this giant box. This is part of the Midnight Solar setup. This thing is called a Whizbang Junior. And I'm trying to remember exactly what it does, but it's part of the Midnight Solar Charge Controller. 
and I think it does um, uh, monitoring and intelligence switching between one network and another or something. I, I don't remember all the details, but it's on the list and it's in the video and they explain how this component works. I have some of this conduit holder to protect the wires. I went ahead and got white. My step van right now, the wiring that's in it goes inside of these uh, tubes that are split so you can run the wires in anywhere and I have black right now so my plan is to have black for anything dealing with the engine and the engine batteries the engine electrical system which is stock right now on the step van anything that I run off of the new solar setup and house batteries I'm going to run in this white so I can easily distinguish between the two things and I also thought it would be sort of fun black white you know yin and yang kind of thing so anyway This is a automatic charging relay from Blue Sea Systems. So this isolates the batteries um, when you're charging from the alternator. So your alternator will be charging the batteries when you're driving around. When your batteries are full, then it'll uh, sort of cut off that and intelligently control how the alternator's charging these things. Zip ties, more zip ties more connectors and two small boxes. I think this is part of that same Blue Sea charging relay controller. 100 amp, 100 amp fuse. I don't recall some of these pieces and parts and what they do. I have to go back through the video, back through the instructions, which I'll be doing that in December. I just want to have all the pieces and parts delivered here now. By the way, I'm in Oregon where there is no state sales tax. So when Amazon delivers stuff here, no tax. Pretty nice. And this is some speaker wire. One of the cool things I saw about their wiring is they ran the positive and negative wires to all of their components and they used just regular speaker wire. So that way you get your positive and your negative built into it and it runs together as a unit instead of separate wire and it's an inexpensive way to do it so I thought that was pretty brilliant and so I have a roll of speaker wire this is my midnight solar power charge controller so this is the 150 midnight solar classic 150 charge controller let you see this So there was like four or five main components that I was looking for in the solar setup that had been recommended again and again by you, the audience, and websites that I've seen a number of places. And the Midnight Solar Controller was one of these in the component. And so when I was looking for build lists, that was one of the key things that came up with uh, Adventure in the Backpack. And they had that. They also had the Blue Sea uh, systems for this. And then the last big component is this big box down here. And this is the power inverter. This is a 2000 watt pure sign power inverter. And it's from Eames Power. And this thing is a giant beast, a big, big. I don't want to open this up right now. I want to leave it in the box until uh, San Diego. Anyway, that's all I have. That's about 30 items that'll uh, consist of my solar setup. The items I don't have here that I'll be purchasing in San Diego are the solar panels. I'm going to go with some Hyundai or Hyundai uh, solar panels. I don't think it's the same as the auto company. Uh, 350 watts, two panels for a total of 700 watts of solar on the roof. Uh, they're pretty big panels. Pretty good deal too, a little bit over $200. And then I still need to buy the um, large cables for the battery, battery cable stuff. So I think there's a battery uh, store down there that has some good deals on that. And then the batteries themselves. So I'm going to go with some golf cart batteries. I've decided to go with the liquid variety. I'm going to be mounting them underneath the frame in a separate box. And I've been told that this particular setup will give me longer longevity for the batteries, better price point better utilitarian use uh, seems like a wise decision so that's the direction I'm going with the batteries probably going to go with a uh, crown or Trojan batteries and uh, just depends on what I find when I get down there and which one I have a better deal on 
So anyway, sort of exciting stuff, particularly that I'll have a fridge here shortly to be able to put things inside and keep them cold and uh, have an inverter, which I can get hooked up here very soon to be able to start having power inside of the step van. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.